Good morning. I want to start off by saying thank you all so much for your feedback, your responsiveness, your support, and to, of going to litasgallery.com. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's L-E-T-A-S gallery.com. Now, I told this is my first time making a video, so please bear with me. Um, I want to tell you my mixtures are two to one, Floetrol to paint. Um, and a little bit of water if needed, depending on what consistency you want. Now, the colors I'm using today for the base, and I think I've told a few of you that I use chalk paint for the base, simply because it goes on smooth and dries flat. So, uh, this one I haven't used this color before. This is folk art chalk, Turkish tile. The other colors that I'm going to use are Folk Art Pure Gold, that's the metallic, Apple Barrel Real Yellow, and Apple Barrel Pumpkin Orange, Creative Impressions Yellow Okra, and Creative Impressions Payne Gray, Sergeant White. Now the wedge that I'm going to use is labeled W-02. Um, so I, I wasn't sure about the numbering of that, I just found it. So I've already poured my base coat and I've got my string laid out with the colors on it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and try to show you <laughs> what I do. And here we go, pulling my strings here. And The strings are set whatever way you have learned how to set them. I just try to do the easiest pull that I can do. As you can see, that chalk paint really um, keeps those colors. So, I have been doing this just for, it'll be two years next month. And I just fell in love with it when I saw a video by Gary Q from Australia. And so I devoured her videos. I still can't do a balloon kiss like she does but I still enjoy watching her. There's quite a few. Olga Sobe, Kathleen Miller. If you need um, inspiration, <clears throat> then <laughs> to me, those are incredible people. They do some fantastic things. Um, so what I try and do is to get five of these on here, and you can see the string that I use is just twine roll string from Amazon. That will be covered up. And I am dripping more than usual here. Sorry about that. But you'll be able to see how I cover it up as well. Normally, I don't wear gloves. I, <laughs> I'm a mess on the weekends, so that's why I may be fumbling a bit with the string. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue. I know I got some feedback from some of you that said that you wished you could do this, you would like to try it. There is some reluctance because you don't believe you would be good at it. And it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is your process, your stress relief, your creativity. 
So it's all really about you and how you want to do things. Not about anybody's reaction to it. So now that's where, okay, I've got five. I use five strings. So now I'm gonna wash my gloves off a little and then put the catalyst wedge into the painting using the same colors I used on the string by just dipping the catalyst wedge into the paint that's left on the table. So this is my catalyst wedge and I'm just going to dip it into this paint that is left. And I'm going to look for the spot where I would like to begin, which is generally right down here. In order to make I know I don't want it too crowded um, because again I've had comments that sometimes some of it it's too busy and people don't like um, having too much on the canvas so this is all entirely up to you how you want to create it what you want to do with it It's yours, do what you like. Here's a little song I wrote. Okay, I don't think I'm going to want to sing it note for note. With don't the wedge. worry. Um, I do wipe it off or try to remember to wipe it off between In every life we have putting some the colors trouble. down. When you worry, you make it double, don't worry. So, okay, I think one more, and we're going to be good. All right, so that's the using the catalyst wedge now. I'm just going to take any bubbles, maybe, if I have any. And then I am going to mark where I want to straw blow the little flowers. And I always kind of start at the bottom. It's just what I like doing. And this is where as many or as few as you want. Um, and I think this is where. Um, Maybe sometimes you can overdo it or make the painting too busy. I don't know. Um, that's just <laughs> reflection of comments that I have received. Can I give you my phone number? When you worry, call me. I think you have it. So now I'm going to take the okra. And just make the puddles like you do. Ain't got no cash, ain't puddles. got no style, ain't got no gal to make you smile, but don't worry. Be happy. Cause when you worry, your face will frown, and that will bring Sorry, everybody down. So don't worry. Concentrate on this piece. Be happy. Don't worry, be happy now. I told several of you I was counting on my husband to edit it because normally Don't worry. Mm, right there. Um be I swear happy. a lot. And Don't worry, be I didn't want to do this for the do <laughs> I didn't want to swear for the video, so Don't worry. Um hopefully if I do he can edit it out be and I happy. don't offend anyone. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, don't worry, don't do it. Be happy. Put a smile on your face. Don't you bring everybody down. You will see that will get blown out <coughs> with the straw. Don't worry. It will soon pass, whatever it is. Don't worry, be happy. I'm not
not worried. And most of the time, what I do, it's just, I don't have any formula for colors. I just make up my mind what I want to see on the canvas, and that's what I do. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. Um, the back is taped along the sides. Okay, so now I just use my, the straw, the a little mug straw, which has been used <laughs> a lot. Um, and all I do is use the straw. I don't do the mouthpiece. And this is also generally where I put on my second paint by bending over. Okay, again, I will take the bubbles out. I generally don't try to delineate petals. Um, but I'm going to do just a couple here in a soul. You're the magic. And there you are. It's, um, I do one more with the torch just to make sure. If I'm 
miss them. You're the magic in me. Okay. Um, make it your process and have fun. And just know I love this. I love doing it. And um, I hope this um, kind of helped some of you with the questions you've had. And um, thank you all so much.